In this flash tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple image gallery. Now, what you're going to want to do first is first get some images. Um, I just have four from uh, the defaults on my computer. And uh, second is to change your layers. Uh, make the bottom one say buttons, then uh, create a new layer. Make that one say uh, images, and then create a new layer. And make that one say uh, actions. All right, now what you're going to do first is go down to your buttons layer, and you're just going to drag your images onto here and uh, just size them down. I'm going to make mine 114 by 85. All right, and then just drag these out and do the same thing with all these 114 by 85. And where did it go? Not sure. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I uh, just keep doing that with all these. And 114, 85. And just try to align these to the distance that you're going to want them apart. And just uh, resize the last one. 114 by 85 and then uh, you're going to go to your align palette um, if you don't have it like I have it right here just go to window and then to align um, and then just make sure you select all these by holding shift and just align them to the bottoms and then um, align or distribute these uh, centers so that you have them all the equal distance apart um, and then you can just position them however you want on the stage by using the arrow keys or just moving it around. Okay, so now what we're going to need to do is uh, make each of these into a button. So hit F8 and then make sure you're on button and then just call it BTN1 and then F8 BTN2 and then F8 BTN3 and then F8 BTN4. Okay, so now what we're going to need to do is go in and give each of these that same instance name. So, just do that for each of these. BTN3 and BTN4. Okay, so now that you have your buttons, what you're going to need to do is uh, just drag this, just uh, copy the frame, and put it out to, paste it out to four, because we're going to have four uh, frames. Now, click on your images um, layer, and go back to your library and what we're going to do is uh, start putting the uh, images out there that you're going to see. So just drag your uh, autumn leaves picture out uh, or well that's what I'm using but uh, whatever images you have and I'm just going to size this down. Uh, I'm going to end up putting it at 358 and 268 and then I'm just going to put the uh, position at uh, 93 and at 18. So that looks good. It's a good position. Um, now what we need to do is come and give it a frame label. And it's important that you remember this because we're going to reference it in the action script later. Um, so I'm just going to call it leaves. And um, that's what we're going to do for uh, each of these buttons. Um, I'm going to, you're just going to make a new layer um, insert keyframe. I'm going to pause this and uh, do that for the other three and uh, I'll be back in just a sec. Alright, so now I have all of um, these images and they each have a frame label, creek, desert, dock, and then the first one leaves. Um, and you can see they're each on their own uh, frame and um, in the same exact spot. So now what we're going to do is add some action script to, uh, um, so to allow us to, when we click on the button, um, to play the right frame. So I'm just going to take and uh, drag this out to four. Um, and then just click on the first frame and go to actions. Then we're just going to type stop so that uh, it doesn't play through all the frames because that'd be bad. Um, it just stops on the first one. And after that, um, just hit enter and uh, we're going to reference the button, the first button, which is BTN1, and then type period, add event listener. And that's with a capital E and a capital L. And then just hit parenthesis and then mouse event with a capital M and a capital E. 
and type period, and then we're going to define what type of mouse event, and then it's going to be click. So uh, that's all caps also, and then a comma, and then we're just going to pick a function. It can be anything you want. Um, I'm just going to call it play one. Um, so just anything you want, and then uh, end it with a parenthesis and then a semicolon. So just hit enter, and now we're going to write that function. So type function space play one. Just make sure that these two functions match, um, and then a parenthesis and then event and then a colon and then mouse event with a capital M and a capital E and then an end parenthesis and then a colon not a semicolon, a colon and then I'm going to type void because we're not really uh, returning any data here um, and then we're going to do an uh, open curly bracket and then we're going to hit enter or return twice and then a closing curly bracket and then the up arrow key so now what we're going to hit is, uh, or we're going to type is go to, and then capital A for and, and capital uh, S for stop, and then we're going to do a parenthesis and a quote, or an open quote, and then we're going to type in whatever that um, that frame label was for our first image, which in my case it was uh, leaves, but uh, yours might be, well, probably will be something else. Um, so and then just end it with a semicolon. Now what you're going to do is you're going to just uh, just do control copy and you're just going to do this over again for each of your other buttons and it's real easy you can just go in and do button 2 because that's what we named that and then play 2 play 2 and then for that one what was that image? It was the creek image and we have a frame label of creek so you just go through and do that, and I'm going to uh, pause the video um, and do that real quick and see you in a sec. All right, I have finished uh, adding the rest of the action script and changing the uh, button um, button numbers and uh, the function numbers and uh, made them correspond with the correct frame label. So uh, you can see that that works, and um, now when we do control test movie, it should work fine. Seems that there's an error. It's undefined button 2. Um, let's go down to buttons and see what the problem is here. Um, button 2. Oh, I uh, put BNT instead of BTN. That would uh, make the difference. Okay, so when we do control test movie, it works fine now. So that's good. And uh, now what I'm going to do is show you how to add a uh, animation um, if you want to... Um, your images when they come in. So what we're going to do is come up to your images layer and we don't want these to be images anymore. Right now they're bitmaps. Um, we want to hit F8 and go to movie clip and we're just going to call it movie 1. And then for this one we're just going to do movie 2 movie three and movie four. Okay, so now we have those uh, all made into movie clips and just come up here to your selection tool and now you can double click into the movie clip and now we can animate it. So we're just gonna right click and do copy frame, come out to frame 15 and do paste frame and then click in the middle and create a motion tween. So out here on this first frame, we're just going to come and click on this uh, movie clip or the image and uh, we're going to go to color and then alpha and put it at zero and then make sure that this is at 100 still. <clears throat> so now what that's going to do is it's going to make a nice fade when the image comes in. So you just click right here and you can go back to your original scene and you can't see it anymore because when it comes in it's going to be uh, black and then it's going to fade into its image and I'm just going to show you what that looks like. See, you can see that that fades in, but then it kind of it goes back and plays that over again, which uh, you don't want to happen. So what we're going to do is double click on this, and on the last frame of this we're going to do a stop action. So that should fix the problem. What's going to happen now is it fades in and stops, and you can still click on your other ones, and it works fine. 
Okay, so I'm going to add a fade to uh, the rest of these and put the stop action on the end um, to show you what the finished product will look like. Um, so, see you in a sec. Alright, I have uh, finished adding the fades to each of the movie clips. And you can't really see anything on the stage right now um, because it fades out and then in, so you are seeing the faded out right now. Um, but I'll show you what the finished product looks like. Test movie. And now you can see that you can go between these and they fade in very nicely. So that's the finished product. Um, now you know how to make a simple image gallery. Um, if you want to make a bigger one, just add more buttons and more pictures. Um, and I just want you to subscribe, rate, and comment, and I'll see you next week. Thanks.